Hello there, YouTube family. I hope everybody is doing well. Welcome home. We are going to be doing a beauty brand superstars video on the best of flower beauty. And I wanted to share this with you guys in this format because a while back, um, it might have been a year and a half or more ago, there was a tag going around called beauty brand superstars. And it was designed to help you kind of cut through the muck of a brand and what is in that brand that is really good and be able to recommend to you the things that I really love. And then you can kind of go, yeah, I remember that that was one that Melissa really liked. So let's get going. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to have you here as a part of the channel. And please give this video a thumbs up if you guys wouldn't mind. I do makeup videos. I'm trying really hard. I'm gonna say this out loud and as soon as I say this out loud, it's going to come back and bite me in the butt because you guys know I have precarious health. But I'm going to try really hard to set my schedule for Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I will upload a video on those days at about four, between four and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, if there is a time when I can't, I'm gonna make sure that I update you guys in the community section, which will just come across your scroll, um, your, your home screen, that kind of thing. So I will make sure that if I'm ever gonna miss, you guys will know it, but that is going to be my goal for the rest of this year is to make sure I upload on those three days. I have been doing three days a week, but you guys didn't know when to expect them. So hopefully this will help a little bit with that. Let's get into this because I am so in love with Flower Beauty, you guys. I think that they're such a good brand. I feel like they are way up there with drugstore brands as far as quality and consistency and how good they are. But I also feel like they're a better price point than like L'Oreal or NYX or any of those. So I'm really excited to be doing this video for you. And I want you to know that that most of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about, I do have on my face today. So you guys can know that too. And I'll talk about each of those. So the Light Illusion Foundation. This is a fantastic foundation, you guys. For mature skin, if you find that there is foundations that really make you dry, or they make you feel like you've got a lot of texture or anything like that, this foundation is really good. It's also only about a medium, medium high coverage, but it can be built on without showing more texture, which I really do like too. The delivery system is a pump, which I really do appreciate. For me, this really does perform like a high-end foundation. I haven't really heard of anybody trying this that they really didn't like it. It's just one that I really have been enjoying a lot lately. Okay, the next thing that I have absolutely fallen head over heels in love with is the Flower Beauty satin finishing powder. Now for me, this powder can be used as a finishing powder or it can be used as a setting powder. If I wear a very matte foundation and I feel like my face just has no life to it whatsoever, I will use this as a setting powder, but very lightly. The thing about it is it, because it's satin, it does have a teeny tiny bit of sheen to it. Not really anything major, not anything that's gonna make you glow in a big way or anything like that, but it's so pretty, you guys. My only gripe about this particular product is the packaging. It's much too bulky. You only get, the, the powder is about at that point right there. So you're only getting the same amount that you get in any other loose powder that you buy. So I actually do hope that they change that about it. <laughs> Another thing that I do absolutely love from them is their setting powder. This is the Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. This powder is just so soft, creamy, lovely, lovely powder. If you're struggling with powders that really make you look drier. This is a really good compact for you to have. Very portable, you can put this in your purse and touch up. It does have a nice little mirror on the other side and it does come with the, you know, the standard little puff or the sponge right there. Also, you can use this if you're not using any makeup and it's just a really humid day and you need something, you know, to kind of take down the shine or whatever. So it's really beautiful powder. I would highly recommend that one. This light illusion little line that they have going is really good. And there's one more thing that I have from it and that is their concealer. I do have this on today. I actually have the finishing powder, the powder on, all of that. I do have this on today and I didn't have to set it down with a powder. And I've had it on for about three hours now, absolutely no creasing. And I'm a little bit warm from all the lights in my makeup room right here, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do that. So I know that I have all of those expression lines that are underneath my eyes from smiling and crinkling and everything, but I really find that this doesn't settle or anything and it does doesn't accentuate those yet it does cover really well so I really do like that whole entire light illusion line it's one that really has impressed me okay 
Speaking of impress me, this is their highlighters, the highlighter trios. And the new one is called Sun Kissed Summer. And the older one is worn off. I have no idea. You guys know I'll put it up for you. So Sun Kissed Summer is the newest one I got. Now, I'm so glad that they came out with this because it's in a little bit deeper tones. And I think this is just so pretty. As far as, you know, people that have a deeper toned skin, these are going to be such pretty highlights for you. It's just, it's really gorgeous. And then the other one is more along the lines of light to medium. Now, this is the one that I can use on my eyes because of that. I'll tell you guys, I feel like these are every bit as beautiful and every bit as gorgeous as the Becca highlighters, her pressed highlighters. I just, I really, really love them. They're ones that make you glow without there being any sparkle or anything to them. They're just really beautiful. Now, these ones right here, since they are a little bit too deep for me, I'm going to be using these as eyeshadows. The consistency is right up there, so there is not a problem with that. I do have the lighter highlighter color on as a highlighter today, so just really love that. think it's so fun, and I'm so glad that they came out with the deeper color as well. Okay, they're flower pot blushes. These are so pretty, you guys. It's not, it's a very matte blush. This one is called Sweet Pea, and I love it. It's what I have on today. These are extremely buildable. So these are very buildable. They're very pretty, creamy. Even though they're a matte blush, it doesn't feel dry or have any texture or anything like that to it. So definitely would recommend those. Also her Petal Pout lipsticks, you guys, these are so good. Okay, this one is Autumn Rose, and this is a matte formula right here. Look at the pigment. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. They had, they have the most gorgeous colors. This is what I have on today. This, this is called Dahlia Desire, I think. And it's just, they're so pretty. So Autumn Rose and then Dahlia Desire is what I have on today. And the cream ones are super comfortable. Even the matte ones, I shouldn't say that. Matte ones are comfortable too, but the cream ones just give you that really super comfortable kind of um, juicy feel to your lips, whereas the matte ones, you know, you get the longer wear out of it. But I find on the cream ones, if I blot after my first application, blot and then reapply a, a, you know, a thinner coat, I've got some pretty good lipstick going on. And I've been filming here, sitting here for about an hour and a half, and my lipstick still looks great. So I'm not worried about that at all. But, but this formula, this is so good. I feel like these are everybody as good as a high-end lipstick like MAC or Urban Decay or any of those. I really like these a lot. Okay, last thing is the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I really, really love this in the winter when my skin is so dry and it feels like it's just needs that extra bit of moisture. It just to me has been one of those ones that I've repurchased again and I really love the mist on here too, you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but the mist is super fine. It isn't one of those ones that's gonna leave droplets on your face. I do feel like this for me is better than the just the regular one, the regular setting spray. Although that one is really good in summer. And what I actually will do is I will layer them in the summer if I need to. So what I'll do is I will take T-Zone for the regular setting spray. So right through the nose and right through here where I get some creasing in the summer when I sweat. And then I will go all around with the hydrating. And I know that's a little bit extra, but I like them both so much. And if I'm, you know, if I'm just sitting doing my makeup and playing with my makeup, that's the kind of thing I do. But if you want something to be super bulletproof, that would be the other setting spray, especially in the summer months as we're coming up and we're kind of sweating and, you know, need that kind of extra. Okay, I wasn't really necessarily gonna tell you any of the things that I would steer clear of as far as Flower Beauty goes but I am going to talk about just a few that really didn't uh, make the mark for me. For one thing is their mascara. It um, just did not build lashes. It was not one that I really, I really just couldn't get on board with it. So that mascara was a no for me. Also their liner, their um, black coal liner. I tried that too and it really kind of almost immediately when it went into the waterline, it was almost smudging almost immediately. So I was like, that is not for me. And they also have a tattoo brow, tattoo brow. They have a tattoo brow. And I couldn't really make that one work really well for me. I'm used to a little bit creamier of a product and this was like a felt tip pin. 
and I need it to look a little bit more natural because I do like a little bit more natural brow. So that one didn't work for me either. Also they have what's called the Heat Wave Luminous Powder and it's their bronzer. And it's really not too bad. It looks really quite pretty. As a matter of fact, the reason that I got it is because it looks so cool. But when you swirl it like this, it changes colors and all of a sudden you've got an orange browns bronzer on your hand. I don't really wear that tanny kind of orangey undertone in my bronzer because my skin really leans towards cool. But if you're warm toned, you might really like this as a bronzer. And the last thing is the Flower Beauty Sugar Rush Palette. I really wanted to love this because these colors are right up my alley. And not only did it have the great pinks and the purples that I like a lot, but it had some um, you know, neutral colors that you could work into. Some of these um, shimmery colors, they just absolutely had no pigment to them. So when you put them across, they were giving you a little bit of shine, but they weren't giving you the color that's in the pan right here. That bugs me about any makeup. I don't care what I'm working with, it bugs me, even if it's high end. So that wasn't the greatest. Um, a little bit extra kick up than I like to see. So you really had to tap your brush off and even then I got a little bit more fallout. But the mattes in here, they're really pretty good. And then the darker shimmers, they were okay too. So it's got its pros and its cons. So I would say that it's not the best palette at the drugstore, but again, it's not the worst. So that's it, you guys. That's Flower Beauty brand Superstars. Those are the things that I felt like you would just absolutely love if you got a chance to try them. They all worked really good on my mature skin and those are my recommendations for you guys. I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like something from Flower Beauty that I have not gone over here in the video. I would love to hear from you if there's anything that I need to definitely pick up that I haven't tried out. You guys all have an amazing day. I love you all very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.